the root of every crisis that a believer has is identity crisis the root of every crisis a man in christ can ever have is identity crisis once you are able to deal with identification the light and the truth of who he is is unveiled welcome to the moment of revelational teaching with prophet dr kristen e samuel bringing to you the revelation of christ stay tuned all right the gift and the ministries of the holy ghost part 11 and we subtitle um this teaching the operations of the spirit part four the operations of the spirit part four and have been dealing with the gifts of the spirit that is functioning in the life of the believer acts of the apostles chapter number two from verse number four and they were all filled somebody say filled loud that say filled they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance they were all filled with the holy ghost and I taught you last week that the word filled is the Greek word plato. And plato means to be furnished. To be furnished. That means when the Holy Ghost was relocating from heaven to take up residence in you, he came with all his bag and baggages. Because no man goes into a house without filling up that house, without furnishing that house to his taste yeah when you move into a house you furnish the house you play toward the house to your taste i remember when i got the new apartment sister jolice came there i was like we need to furnish this this apartment for the man of god to the taste of the man of god so it is furnished to my taste are you still here so the holy ghost furnished you and part of the furnishing is other tongues Part of the things you will find in this house that is furnished by the Holy Ghost is other tongues. And the other things you will find in the house that the Holy Ghost furnished is what we call the gifts of the Spirit. The gift of the Spirit. So the gift of the Spirit is the luggage. Is the things that belongs to the Spirit. It is the Greek word pneumaticos. Pneumaticos. And pneumaticos means things of the spirit. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things. What things? Things prepared of God. These things are not carnal things. These things are not earthly things. So man of God was preaching somewhere and he said, eyes have not seen. Oh, guys have not seen the car God wants to give you. Eyes have not seen the house God wants to give you. Eyes have not seen the wife God wants to give you. That is abusing the scripture. Because a wife is on earth. A car, somebody, somebody manufactured it. Tesla, Elon Musk manufactured that car. It doesn't belong to the spirits. So the things prepared kabatolabatanabaya are spiritual things which are tongues, interpretation of tongues, prophecy, discerning of spirit, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, faith, working of miracles, gift of healing. These are the things of the spirit that Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 64 verse 4 that brother paul was quoting from stay with me are you still here are you still here and they began to speak so when you are filled with the holy ghost you speak yeah a sign that you are filled is that you will talk yeah in this kingdom we talk in this kingdom we chat someone said to me prophet christian you're so quiet don't meet me in prayer when i'm praying i'm not quiet they say you are a different kind of person when you hold the microphone outside of the microphone you are quiet 
But once you, once you hold the mic or once you are in your element, I said my element is the spirit because we walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Instead of chatting with God, you are gossiping about men. Yeah. Spend time. Lord, take parata. That's a sign you are furnished with the Holy Ghost. And they began to speak in other tongues. I taught you the word speak is the word lali. To chatter. To chatter. To say mumblings that are not accurate. You begin to speak as the Spirit gives you utterance. Somebody shout, I hear you. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 1. Concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. So spiritual gifts are for brethren. Somebody said to me, man of God, a Muslim lady gave me a prophecy. <laughs> a Muslim lady gave me a prophecy. You see, God is good. <laughs> and he gives gifts to every human being. A Muslim lady gave you a prophecy. And you call that the gift of God. So God will leave his gift for his children and give to a child of Is that how confused he is? Do you buy an Xmas gift for your son and take that same Xmas gift that you're supposed to give your son and look for somebody's child elsewhere and give that PlayStation 5 to? Who does that? You give your gift only for your children. So, brethren, brothers, spiritual gifts are for brethren. Somebody shout, I hear you. And he said, I will not have you ignorant. So, brethren can be ignorant. <laughs> brethren can walk in ignorance. Yet, they have all of the gift of the spirit. Some people in this nation have what they call prophetic activation. You are out of your mind. Prophetic activation. Prophetic activation. Water baptism and prophetic activation. I'm not saying, and you even pay 444 for it. That is to function in the gift that God gave you. One charlatan somewhere has to take $444 from you to activate it why because brethren can function in ignorance so brother paul comes accurately in his apostolic audacity he says brethren concerning spirituals pneumaticals things of the spirit i wouldn't have you ignorant because if you're ignorant of the things of the spirit these charlatans will make a caricature of you they will mess you up they will they put you in a ditch take all your money and zoom back to africa but we are still here we didn't come to america to siphon people's money we came on an assignment we came on a mission the mission of the gospel of jesus preach jesus yes i will not i christian will not make you or allow you to be ignorant activation how do you activate what is already inside of you how do you activate the spirit inside of you? Are you high? Kabata. That's why they don't like me. And I don't like them. I'm not looking for your, for your applause or for your recommendation. I'm satisfied. I'm contented. Kabaya. Because I know one day I will see Jesus. And every man will give account. Every man will give account. Keep playing. Every man will give account every man and their works will be tried and will be burnt with fire i want to have you ignorant next verse you know you know that he were gentiles carried away by these dumb idols even as you were led carried away now you are still being carried away with any every wind of doctrine just like you were carried away by the dumb idols when you were an unbeliever an ignorant brethren is directly proportional to an infidel. A brother who functions in ignorance does not differ from someone not saved. Even though he has all of God in him, but he lives his life 
as though he were not saved. So he can be led by some charlatans, some false prophets carried away and they will siphon his money. Yet he has all. As you were led. Next verse. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God call a Jesus a cost and that no man can say Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Next verse. Now there are diversities of gifts but the same Spirit. Diversities of gifts, the same Spirit. So underline the word diversities. Next verse. And there are differences of administration, but the same Lord. Next verse. And there are diversities of operation, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. It's not that some believers have certain gifts and you don't have it. Oh, that brother has this gift and this other brother has this gift. That's a lie. That's not correct. Oh, yours is prophecy. I cannot prophesy. Mine, anytime I see the sick, I lay my hands, he's healed. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's wrong. Walk it all in all. So, you have all of the gift of the Spirit. As Brother Mike has all of the gift of the Spirit. As Pastor Brian has all of the gift of the Spirit. Next verse. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. To profit with all. You know, when I was growing up in the charismatic Pentecostal church, a preacher taught me this, and I also said it when I was growing up. The gift of the Spirit is to profit with all. So you see, you make money from it. They underline that word profit. So you see the word profit there. It means you make money from it. So, one-on-one -on -one with the prophet, $250 per hour, $250, one-on-one -on -one special, $250, actually, it's $750, but this is special because it's Thanksgiving Day, so discount, it's Black Friday, so there is black discount in the prophetic, $250, hurry, get your copy now. So they say profit with all. But actually, profit with all means to edify with all, every one of us. <laughs> Next verse. For to one is given by the Spirit word of wisdom, and to another word of knowledge by the same Spirit. So when you see the word another there, you're thinking another person. So this person has wisdom, word of wisdom, then this other person has word of knowledge. No. Another day, I taught you last week, means alos. There are two words in the Greek that means another. Heteros, alos. But Paul did not use heteros here. Where we get English words like heterosexual. That means you like the opposite sex. Opposite. So Paul did not use another heteros here. He used alos. And alos means of the same kind of the same fold of the same kind because the same spirit that gave birth to you is the same spirit that gave birth to me so in the spirit we look alike <laughs> you don't have junior holy ghost in you I was listening to a teaching of some dude somewhere on, on Facebook he and his spiritual father were sitting down on live and he was saying you know man of God the Jesus in you is greater than the Jesus in me. That's why I follow you. I threw my phone. Then it was an iPhone 8. It broke. That is the Holy Ghost in his spiritual father. is bigger than the Holy Ghost in him. Actually, it's not a Holy Ghost in his spiritual father. That his spiritual father has more demonic possession than he has. So he wishes the demons that will take over him should be like the demons in his spiritual father. And people were online, Facebook clapping. Woo, wow. They are wild, they are bamboozled. Ignorance. How can you say the Holy Ghost in the pastor 
is bigger than the Holy Ghost in you. By the same spirit. Of the same sorts. So now today we are going to be dealing with revelation gift. Remember last week I, defi- I div- divided the nine gifts of the spirit into three categories. And I said, number one we had the gift of utterance. Tongues, interpretation of tongues and prophecy. We dealt with that last week. And so today we are going to be dealing with the gift of revelation. Revelation gifts. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge by the same spirit. Next verse. To another faith. To another the gift of healing by the same spirit. Next verse. To another walking of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discerning of spirits. Now the revelation gifts we have are classified into three. The word of knowledge. Word of wisdom. And discerning of spirits. Three of them have to do with insight into something. Seeing something, knowing and perceiving something. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discerning of spirit has to deal with insight into something. Seeing something, knowing and perceiving something. In revelation gifts, we do not speak or practice. You see, in tongues, you have to keep practicing. Then when interpretation comes, you keep practicing. But in word of knowledge, word of wisdom, discerning of spirit, there is no practice. Are you still here? It has to be given to you or granted to you. That means an access was granted to you by the spirit. Access has to be granted to you by the spirit to function in this gift. However, the gift is in you. But when it is going to be in operation, something has to be unveiled to you. It's not something you were, you were, you were thinking about or you were practicing. No. It's spontaneous. As you met Brother Brian, Pam, A revelation was given to you at that moment and you speak it forth. Access was granted. So the gift is in you. But it must be revealed to function in that gift. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 26. Remember, you have all the gift of the spirit. And I'm teaching you how to function in it. How is it then, brethren? When you come together... Every one of you had a psalm, had a psalm, had a doctrine. What did he call it? Doctrine. Psalm singing. So when we come together, we sing and we administer doctrine. Had a doctrine, had a tongue, had a revelation, had a interpretation let all things be done unto edifying had a revelation this revelation here is not revelation of the scripture but a gift of revelation that is given to you concerning a brother a sister in that fellowship had a revelation are you still here Now, let's go to verse 24. Let's further establish this. Why that revelation is not revelation of Bible, but of a person. But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believeth not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. Next verse. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest and so falling down to his face he will worship God and report that God is in you of a truth he will do what? worship God not prophesy papa he will fall on his face he will not magnify you you don't need a hype man to say oh you were born to do this prophesy papa you were the prophetic bulldozer and you see the so called prophet shoulders like this ah 
arrange you. <laughs> Not even real prophecy. Arranged prophecy. We will carry their shoulder like this. Uh, you see somebody in the ear of the person. <laughs> or am I come? Come, come, let me explain. Let me illustrate something. Ah, your name is James Brown. The other guy is here. Huh? Only me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Papa. <laughs> Glory! He will fall down to his face and worship God, not worship you. The essence of revelation gift is to reverence God, to worship God. It's to make the unlearned or the person who you prophesy to, to know indeed God is in you. Hence, he wants to follow Jesus. So prophecy will glorify Jesus all the time. To glorify Jesus. It will make the brother, it will draw that brother closer to Jesus and it will glorify Jesus. And report that God is indeed in you. Are you still here? Somebody shout, I'm still here. So the secret of his heart is by the word of knowledge. When we speak to that brother, how were we able to access the secret of his heart? Is by the word of knowledge. Yeah. Word of knowledge. Let's look at verse 29. Verse 29. Let the prophet speak two or three and let the other judge. Let the other judge. So we have the ability to judge your prophecy. Let the other judge. Next verse. If anything be revealed, be revealed to another that seated by, let the first hold his peace. On the line that were revealed. Revelation gifts. Revelation gifts. Are you still in the building? Are you still here? So what are revelation gifts? Revelation gifts are gifts that deal with uncovering and discovering, revealing information about people, places, events, plans, and actions. Revelation gifts is a gift that deals with uncovering and discovering or revealing information that deals with people, places, events, plans, motives, and actions. So by revelation gift, you can know the motive of a person. You can know the motive of the person by revelation gift. <laughs> a very close friend of mine came to me in Africa, said to me, man of God, there's this business deal. I mean, you're going to make a lot of profit from it. Now, very close friend. This is someone I helped in a music career. We were in middle school together, high school together, college together. We did music together. I helped her, took her to all the known stars I know in Lagos. Very close. But I was shocked by revelation gift. Why this person will look at me like this and think I'm a fool, I'm a maga, I'm a mugu, I'm an idiotist. So because I'm in America, you think I'm now a dummy. You don't think I, number one, I'm still from Lagos. Very street smart. First. Number two. You don't think I have the spirit. Even if I don't have the spirit. By being born in rascally Lagos. I'm street smart. This deal. Very convincing. Very close. But as she was telling me the deal. And I reasoned it. And the spirit said to me. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. I know me. I know how to be snobbish. I didn't tell her no, I won't do it. I said, sure, sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I will do it. And I punished her to calling me. She was calling me for the next 14 days every day. Why are you so interested in me doing this deal? Is it by force? Is that how much you love me to make me make money? Even if you knew that there was money somewhere, you will not tell me. And later I discovered other folks she did that to were now complaining about their money. Discerning of spirits. Word of knowledge. Revelation gift. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, 
Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, and we're, go we're going to read from verse number 10. We're dealing with the word of knowledge. What is the word of knowledge? The word of knowledge is a supernatural ability to know facts about a situation that could not be known by natural means. It's a supernatural ability to know facts about a situation that could not be known by natural means. Pay attention. It's word of knowledge, not details of knowledge. It's a word of knowledge, not details of knowledge. It's not details. You ate fried rice today, last night. And after fried rice, ah, I also see that your grandmother's name is Joanna. Then I also see your great-grandmother's name was San Francisco. Then I also see, ah, take me back. Now you're seeing the entire generation. It's not that. Uh -uh, uh -uh. You are a psychic, my brother. How are you able to see the entire generation? What are you talking about? What is, God, what is the interest of God with your whole generation? For what? It's called a word of knowledge. A word of knowledge. Not details of knowledge. It's to identify something. And you speak it forth and then the Lord will tell you what he will do about that situation. It's not going through somebody's entire genealogy and you call that prophecy. That's a psychic ability. That's a magical tendency. That is a voodoo priest with suit and tie. It's a word of knowledge. It's few information. A fragment of information. Just a fragment. Not the whole detail. A fragment. A fragment. Are you still here? Acts chapter 9 verse 10. And there were a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananiah. Ananiah. And to him said the Lord in a vision. In a revelation. The Lord said to him in a vision. And he said, Behold... I am here, Lord. Next verse. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street called Straight. <laughs> Arise and go into the street called Straight. He didn't give him the address. He didn't give him 255 Straight Street, Annapolis, Maryland, 20711. No. Just a, see, a fragment. Go to the street called Straight. Enquire in the house of Judah. Fragments. So when you go to a street called Straight, you will not know which house is the house of Judah. You will not know the house. Street, no, street, street Straight. Apartment number 222. No, 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 no. When you get to the street, inquire. Ask around. So he did not give him all the details. Are you still here? Before false prophets use you for pepper soup. When you get to the street, go straight. Ask around. Inquire. Now begin to ask questions. Hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Yeah, I don't know. Is, is there anybody called Judah? Judah. Judas is living around here. He's living. You know, uh, oh, Judah. Bro, but uh, Ju Judas. Ah, uh, okay. Just go like this. Just when you get to that junction, ask, ask. So he kept going. Yeah, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I'm looking for a Judah. A Judah, Judah. Oh, <laughs> Judah. Oh, his house is just right there. The Holy Ghost didn't give him all the details. When you get to that street, ask around. Use your to ask people. That's why when we prophesy, we ask questions. We follow through by asking. But when it's not asking, it's just telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you. My sister, my brother, run away. A voodoo altar is planted on your head. Professor. When you get the ask questions, the Holy, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord Himself did not give him all the details. So when you get there, ask around. Ask for a Judah. Ask around. 
Is there, and only God knows how Ananias was asking. Is there Judas? I don't know. Is there Judas? I don't know. Is there Judas? Oh, go, go there. Is there Judas? He kept asking until he found. Pay attention. For one called Saul, where you f- are able to ask around and you find the house of Judah. And Judah says to you, hey, this is my house. What is your problem? Then ask Judah. There is ask now. Ask. So in the word of knowledge, we give the fragment of information, then we ask questions. You see that? Somebody said, if you're the prophet, why are you asking me? No, you want a psychic. You want a voodoo priest. There is one in Nigeria. I can buy you plane tickets to go. And you're the prophet. Why are you asking me questions? This is how it functions. We give you the fragment, then we inquire. Then we give you the fragment, then we inquire, and we give you the fragment, then we ask questions. Inquire. That's how it functions. The word of when you're able to just tell everything, and they're like, wow, everything, no question. <laughs> Brother, where did you get yours from? Even the Lord did not do it like this. Apostolic foundation. Where did you get yours from? Acts of Saul. So it tells you, when you get there, ask for Saul. Of Tarsus. It tells you where he's from. For behold, then he tells you what he is doing. His action. He is praying. He is praying. So when you get to the house of Judah, Judah says, this is my house. Ask, is there somebody called Saul of Tarsus here? Then the person will say, yes, I know Saul of Tarsus. I see him praying. Wow, yes, he is praying. So we inquire and we receive answers from the fragment of information we just gave. Are you seeing that now? He is praying. So the word of knowledge gives you ability to see into the things that is happening in the lives of people. It's word of knowledge. For example, when you watch my Facebook live, for those of you who watch my Strictly Prophetic, you see I just look at the comment section, someone's name on the comment section, and I will just say a fragment of information. I don't know it all. I don't know. I'm seeing, I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing this. Huh? Talk to me. Type confirmation. The person says, keep, keep prophesying. Who, who, am I your, your psychic? Answer the question first. Oh, if you are the prophet, tell it all. I am the prophet. Answer the question. I'm doing it apostolic. You are used to a voodoo priest. So it's a supernatural ability. Say, I got the ability. Louder, say, I got the ability. Louder, say, I have the ability. That's how word of knowledge function. The second is the word of wisdom. A word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. Now, word of wisdom is not advice. <laughs> you know, most people think the word of wisdom means advice. Oh, I'm giving you a word of wisdom. No, no, no. It's not advice. All right? It's not advice. Word of wisdom is a supernatural ability of one to know what God intends to do in the future concerning a person. So it deals with futuristic events. Word of knowledge is an experiential knowledge. You know something that is happening now. And it's a fragment. Word of wisdom is also a fragment. You don't know all that will happen in the future concerning that person it's just a fragment a piece of information i see god elevating you and i don't know where but i see god i I don't know why i'm hearing relocation now you you don't have it all relocation relocation and where you're going to relocate that you're going to be so blessed that's a word of wisdom but the whole information was not given to you where because it's wisdom so the holy ghost leaves it at that point then the recipient is ready to receive when it now happens the person is like wow you said i will relocate and now i am in arizona but you never said arizona 
And that's why you see many of these people who give false prophecy always try to do things in the flesh. Ah, I see you relocate to Arizona and they never relocated to Arizona. Why are you trying to trying to please people? Just leave it where the spirit leaves it. Just leave it where the spirit leaves it. And you will be so accurate. And you will have your words come to pass. Many of these so-called guys, their words, go check back all the prophecies they gave. It never, about people, event that it never happened. Never. And most of the time, a word of knowledge will follow a word of wisdom. They walk in hand. That's why they are revelation gifts. A word of knowledge will follow a word of wisdom. So after the word of knowledge comes the word of wisdom. What's the essence of saying so and so and so and so without what will happen? So the essence I'm giving you that detail which you already know. Oh, my name is Joanna. Okay. Wow. How did you know that? Now I follow suit with a word of wisdom intention of God concerning your life that is futuristic are you seeing that now so word of knowledge will follow suit with a word of wisdom are you still here Acts chapter 5 verse 1 Acts chapter 5 verse number 1 praise God but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira his wife sold a possession next verse and kept back the price his wife also being preview to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles feet next verse but peter said ananias why has satan filled thy heart to lie to the holy ghost that was the revelation gift functioning in peter why has satan filled your heart Peter was functioning in word of knowledge, word of wisdom, discerning of spirit. So he discerned that this man's heart was not filled with the Holy Ghost, but filled with Satan. <laughs> that means this guy was not even saved. Because you can't have the Holy Ghost in your heart. And Satan fills your heart at the same time. Do they cohabit together? So it means that this guy came to spy the liberty of the saints. If you don't believe, stay out there. If you believe, follow us. So Peter said to him, why has Satan... So Peter was able to use a gift of discerning of spirits. And a gift called word of knowledge. And a gift called word of wisdom. Are you still here? To see what was going on with Ananias. To keep back the price of the land. Next verse. While it remained, it was in your own possession. And after it was sold, it was in your own power. Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? Conceive this thing in thy heart. So, the revelation gift gives you access into the heart of a man. You can know what they are thinking. You know what they are thinking. Sometimes I just look at someone and I just say, I know what you just said right now in your heart. Now. And I say what they said. And they're like, how did you know that? Wow. Exactly. As they said it, I said it exactly the way they said it. It's a revelation gift. Discerning of spirit. Word of knowledge. Word of wisdom. Revelation gift. When you function in revelation gifts, you will never have a bad deal. You will never miss it in life. Revelation gift. Revelation gift can tell you, don't travel today. Don't travel today. It just tells you. Revelation. It just comes. Don't travel. And you obey. Obey. Because you have it in your spirit. No prophet is greater than you. Obey the spirit. Obey the leading of the spirit in you. Because he's in you. Revelation gift. It gives you access into the thoughts of people. A certain man called Gehazi in the Old Testament. 
a man after God, after he was healed, came to the prophet Elisha and said, Elisha, I want to give you money. I want to give you stuff. Elisha said, keep your money. The man was going. Gehazi, the, the, <laughs> the servant of the prophet, ran after the guy. Said, the prophet said, the prophet said, you should bring the money. He has changed his mind. He said, really? That's what I brought the money for. Take it. While he was doing that, a revelation gift was functioning in Elisha the prophet. <laughs> when he came back, oh, so prophet, I just went to just I just went to Walmart. I just I just went to Walmart. I'm back. So why are you lying? <laughs> you didn't go to Walmart. Don't you know that my spirit went with you? My spirit went with you while you were gone as you took the money from Haman from Naaman my spirit was there when you took the money now take the leprosy when you function in revelation gift you can pass judgment you can pass judgment it's highly corrosive and judgmental and judge not so that you not be judged shut up Don't you know that you shall judge angels and judge the world? Judge all things. Yeah. He said, take the leprosy of that man instantly. The, 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 the guy was leprous. Peter said, you, why, what gave you the audacity to lie to me? You are not lying to me. Drop dead instantly. The man fell down and died revelation gifts for you thinking you want to you want to steal my money in fact may, don't allow me judge this matter because if i judge it's final very judge. if i speak instant if i get angry and speak at that point because of what i've seen you're trying to do it's finished you're finished revelation gift somebody say revelation gift say i have the gift of revelation it's functioning in me so in revelation gift you discover what people had done this gift is a supernatural revelation of plans purposes in the mind of god or in the mind of man so you can know the plan in the mind of god or a plan in the mind of a man let me tell you something let me tell you a story I came to Nigeria, all right, to visit. That was sometime in 2019. And I went to stay in my mom's house. I went to stay in my mom's house. The first night, the second night. After I preached that day in Lagos, I was driving, telling the driver to take me back to my mom's house. The Holy Ghost said to me, don't go. Instantly, don't go there tonight. So I told the guy, right there while I was in the back seat, he was driving me to my mom's house. He said, don't go. Don't go there tonight. As I stepped back, I said to the guy, I said, please sir, don't take me to my mom's house. Look for any hotel around. Do you know you are a Lagosian? Anyone around and around and around. Does I, I, I'm not going. He said, why? why? Why do you want to waste that money? Why? I said, just anyone around. So he found one around. I went in. said, I want to pass the night. I'm man of God, it's just a few hours. This is just 11. And then you know, I said, don't worry. I paid. And I stayed there that night. The Holy Ghost said, don't go. But I slept there two nights ago. And the Holy Spirit said, don't go. That night, when my mom was going, leaving church, back there, my mom in the dark saw one of my cousins. And that guy is notorious. He's notorious B.I.G. <laughs> that guy is a gangster. So it was told to him, American Christian is back. And this guy is a cultist. He's a gangster. He's a hoodlum. So it was told to him, American Christian is back. And he had been in mom's house day one, day two, day three. So he's going to be here. He went to preach and he will be back. 
So my mom discovered him hanging somewhere in the dark around that area with some boys. Only God knows what they would have done to me out of jealousy that I am now in America. The plan was not to steal my Gucci shoe or my Balenciaga. That was not the plan. The plan, only God knows what would have happened. If it's Balenciaga, I would say, guy, take. You never came to see me where I went. You didn't even come to the church I was preaching. Why in the dark by 12 midnight? Why in the dark waiting? Why in the dark? But the Holy Ghost said, Son, don't go there. Even though you rented the house and you feel you have to stay in the house you bought, don't go there. Find somewhere to sleep. Only God knows if I disobeyed the beating of my life. You <laughs> mad, you You mad, you They would have so beaten the American out of me. But the Holy Ghost said, find some way. Revelation gift. The last gift is discerning of spirits. Discerning of spirits. That word discerning is the Greek word diacrisis. Diacrisis. It means to distinguish between. To distinguish between. So, to distinguish between spirits is an ability to know what spirit is in operation. An ability is granted to you to know what spirit is in operation. Because somebody says Jesus is Lord doesn't mean he is of the Holy Ghost. Because somebody is yelling and shouting, bam, God gonna do it doesn't matter what you're looking for yeah. say yeah say yeah it doesn't matter he's gonna bring you out from the back side to the front line I'm telling you say yeah meanwhile the person practices witchcraft meanwhile that person has no experience with Jesus Yet, people on the pew are like, yes! Oh my God! Oh yes! Yes! Meanwhile, that preacher is heavily homosexual. Brutally homosexual. Brutal. And you're submitting the precious Holy Spirit in you to an unclean devil. Brutally! What has Christ got to do with Belia? What has the temple of God got to do with the temple of the harlot? Brutally. Brutally. Brutally homosexual. And yet you're shouting hallelujah. Because you don't know the spirit in operation. You are ignorant of spiritual gifts. It's ability to distinguish. You may be a baby. You can be born again today. And if you are open to the gift of the spirit in you, you are able to tell that a preacher is telling a lie. I traveled to Houston this weekend and I was having a discussion with a, 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 a sister in the Lord. And she said to me, man of God, I was sharing some truth. He said, man, man of God, the, the Lord taught me this thing. When I got saved, the Lord taught me this thing. But when I started going to church, they taught me something else. And I started believing this. I said, you see what the Lord taught you when you just got saved was accurate. But because you started going to churches of motivational speakers and all these people who don't have no relationship with the spirit of God at all, at all, you were brainwashed with all kinds of doctrine. So all of a sudden, all those garbages became your belief pattern, your belief system. Over this weekend, I was listening to a teaching by a dude. I was praying the stars. Stars. The mystery of the stars. <laughs> stars. <laughs> and he said, he said, what, sh what shocked me? He said, your star can be falling. 
Some of you, your star is falling. Some of you, your star is... How can a believer's star be falling? Jesus said, you are the light. He didn't even call you a star or a moon or a sun. He calls you the light. And the only classification that is used for Jesus is son of righteousness. Shall arise. Arise with healing in his wings. So arise, shine, for the light is come. It's only the sun that arises, appears. So you are the light of the world. A city that is set, is set, is set, is set on the hill. Cannot, 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 cannot be hidden. But this dude says your star fell. And people were clapping in the class. Excited. And he says, don't worry, next week, I have deeper revelation for you. Next week, I will tell you why you are in darkness talking to believers. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Men shall come to the brightness of your rising, said the Spirit of the Lord. But because you are ignorant of discerning spirits, you just allow any junk, every junk, anywhere, anywhere to be thrown like you are a dustbin. They just throw the garbage into you. Garbage into you. Garbage into you. Protect your ears from false doctrines. Protect it. Your ear is so precious. You're able to discern spirits. Somebody say, I discern spirits. Louder say, I discern spirits. Finally, Acts chapter 16, verse 16. Let's see where this was in operation. All right. And it came to pass when we went to prayer. We went to where? Prayer. We were not going to the club. We went to prayer. A certain damsel. Damsel. Look at the choice of word. Damsel. <laughs> not girl. Not woman. Damsel. That means she's very beautiful. You will not even suspect. She's polished. She's tush. She's very eloquent. Very beautiful. Tall. Figure eight. Tush. Damsel. <laughs> but this damsel that went with us in prayer <laughs> was possessed with a spirit of divination. She met us. <laughs> she joined our prayer meeting. But she was a damsel. Alright? Now, that word spirit of divination. That word divination is the Greek word pythonas. P-Y-T-H-O-N-A-S. Where we get the English word python. She was a damsel, but with pneuma pythonas. Python spirits. So as she was doing, she was praying with us, but a snake in her was. <laughs> a snake in her was dancing. And we were praying, but the snake was there. Python spirit. Which brought her masters much gain by suit saying. So the essence of this false prophetic movement is money. Merchandise. It's all about, it always ends in money. That's how you know it's a python spirit in that dude. I don't care who he is. Python spirit. Because the essence of the spirit of divination to tell, to prophesy is to make money by saying. But she came to our prayer meeting. They call her prophetess. That's her title in the church. Prophetess. She's revered. There is this popular prophetess, very big prophetess in 
in West Africa. Her name, sorry, in what was the country? Togo in West Africa. Very big. This lady will fill up stadiums. At one point, this lady called herself God. Yes. Very big prophetess. She called herself God. I will show you the video, but I will. She called herself God in Togo. She will fill up stadiums. She would prophesy about who will be the president of Togo and that's the president, that's the president that will be president. Big! She would do signs and wonders. And people like signs and wonders. Fill up stadiums in the name of Jesus. But false prophet. Today, there are videos, viral videos all over in Africa going around now. That lady, she's mad on the street right now. She's insane on the street. She's mad on the street. Ah, ah. All her followers, they've all run away. Right now, that lady, she's mad on the street because that unclean spirit that she went to get power from has decided to wreck her life, to destroy her life. She's on, so I'll show you the video, brother. I'll show you the video. Popular prophetess. But python spirit. Serpentine spirit. They come amongst us. And if you're not careful because of your ignorance, you'll be swayed. But she came to our prayer meeting. She's called prophet. Prophetess. He's called prophet. Prophesy. Prophet. Prophet. Snake spirit inside of him. You can even see in his mannerism. Are you still blind? In his behavior. There's one young dude in this country that wants to be a prophet. He calls himself a prophet. He started telling people to change their last name to his last name. <laughs> change their last name to his last name. And he called himself Jesus in the flesh. He called himself Je very young prophet. He will wear eye contact lens like this. Very young guy. And he would be on Periscope Facebook. People would troop in, watch him. And he was affiliated with one dude like that here. And all that movement died. It says he's Jesus in the flesh. People follow. They will prophesy to you, change your last name to my last name. A false prophet, my friend. So, look at the gift of discerning of spirit here. Verse 17. Are you blessed? If you're blessed, say I'm blessed. Verse 17. The same followed Paul. <laughs> the same followed. So she was a follower of Paul. She would say, when they asked her, who is your spiritual father? She would say, Paul. And many of these false prophets love to identify themselves with men of God of integrity. Because over the years, we've known that these particular men of God are integral. So they come to them. Look at me. See me here with Benny Hinn. Ah, Benny Hinn. What the Lord said? Yeah. They hide. But after a while, the Benny Hinn they were with, Benny Hinn has disconnected from them. So they follow, so they can follow us. But it's just for a little bit. You can look for T.D. Jakes, integral people to hide yourself with. It's for a while, my friend. Your falsehood will be exposed. Follow Paul, an integral preacher. She hid herself. Who is your spiritual father? Paul. Oh, wow. And cried. Look at her ministry. She cried, saying, this man, a servant of the Most High God. She was not telling a lie. <laughs> this man. So she even helped their ministry grow. Broad crowd. This man. So they can be accurate. But he's a false spirit. This man, a servant of the Most High God. Which show us the way of salvation. She's saying the truth. Paul is a preacher of salvation. She's saying the truth. We know this man. She's saying the truth. 
but her motive is wrong i will hide with benin on video so benin's followers can follow me and i'll start telling them uh, one on one five hundred dollars i keep merchandising you're a thief my brother next verse chateau labada and this did she many days <laughs> long the longevity of a thing doesn't mean it's accurate many days but paul being grieved someone said to me man of god why are you always why are you always like just preach the bible why are you always i said i'm grieved it's called righteous indignation it's called holy anger righteous indignation i'm grieved in the spirit paul being grieved turned and said to the spirit she was saying something accurate but from a python spirit turned and said to the spirit i command thee in the name of jesus christ to come out of her and he came out the same hour he came out so with the gift of discerning of spirit you are able to distinguish spirits in operation you're able to distinguish spirits in operation you're able to tell the motive the motive or the thought in the heart of men are you blessed tonight loud and short and blessed say i have revelation gifts so I function in revelation gift. So I function better in revelation gifts. Rise to your feet, everybody. Praise God. For more of our messages, follow us on our social media platforms: Facebook at Dr. Kristen E. Samuel, YouTube at Dr. Kristen E. Samuel, Kristen Samuel Ministries, bringing to you the revelation of Christ.